Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Elfie and today we have our philodendron days. So this is a part 2 video of putting my philodendron in semi-hydroponics. I'm just gonna show you what happened after a week later of putting them in semi-hydroponics. So let's get started. So this is my philodendron soldier and this is my philodendron silver sore, the narrow form and this is my micon. So I put them in semi hydroponics about a week ago. I use this translucent pot so I can see what is going on with the root. It seems like this one doing pretty well. The root is trying to reach to the water. I only put about two finger highs and then the water already go down to like less than a finger high. Wow, so here you go. We have a lot of new growth. So see the fussy one, the white and red fussy root? That's the new new grow, the new water root that we're looking for because this is the type of root that will be absorbing the water and nutrition. And then the bottom also see have a lot of root. Luckily, I don't see any type of root rods. So the way that I'm doing it, when once I put it in a semi-hydro, I put it on top of the heat mats. That's help, how it um, help the root growing so much. And then it's also under the grow light, it's on the humidity about at least 85% of humidity. Those is a prime environment for them to grow new roots. One key of uh, success is like my water level do not touch the root at all. So this is why there's no root rot. This one, the bottom last one seems might be a root rot, so I'm just going to take it out. So I'm trying to just take out the ugly looking roots because eventually if this is the old root, it will be rotted. And then this is the silver sorrel. It's doing very nice too. They have a lot of area roots because um, of the high humidity. And then I like this. See, this is the fuzzy root that you're looking for. So this is only first week of in semi hydroponics, which means they really like the environment right now. This is a, like the old root that they used to have. As long as we have some water root, they will make it. It was growing in the soil, so the root is also darker. Right now when I'm touching the root, they're actually pretty dry. So I think that's a good amount of wetness. And then this one, if you can see, um, the water just barely touching the lega. And then I have the root up here to help to absorb the water. It seems like doing pretty well. So let's check it out. Oh wow. The good thing about this pot is giving an air uh, circulation to go into the root. So they really can expand ball out so you can see there's a lot of new water would come out they're actually going down trying to reach more water yeah it's a lot a lot of root growth like i like all this new growth philodendron seems a lot easier to do to convert in semi-hydro seems like the roots grow very fast so it's only the first months that you transition your plant, you have to check your uh, pots so often. After one month, you can change it to every two weeks. And then after two months, then you can check it every like three weeks. Uh, the idea of being in semi-hydro is you don't have to water the plant or you don't need to do so much stuff compared to uh, growing in the soil. And afterward, it should be more like routine. You just top it up the water and then uh, let it grow. If the root rots, inside the water the bacteria will affect all the healthy root as well so that's the reason that you want to check more often on the first month so since it's growing very well in this first week we're going to continue and then right now i'm going to wash the root and then let it sit for about 30 minutes and then uh, we're going to put it back in the uh, water so yeah so we'll be back a few inches later all right guys i'm back so i'm back with actually four plants after i wash it the root and it's already been sitting over 30 minutes i was looking at my collection and then i found like this actually not part of the part one video this is the one with the part one video with my philodendron martini diadems that i got from steve leaf so i was like oops so i'm washing it as well so i'm going to show you the root it has some uh, new growth as well doing pretty well so I'm going to put all of them together. This one, I also do it, but I was putting on my IGTV, on my Instagram, but then um, something wrong with my uh, video is got corrupted. So the first part of the video wasn't show anywhere and besides my phone. So I apologize for that, but I'm going to do part two with everyone right now since it's also filled with dentures. So now I'm just going to put them into the pots and then start putting everything back. It's like the last time, I'm going to fill the lega first. 
When this guy getting bigger, I might not able to do it in Mega, but right now it seems pretty okay. Still can stand by themselves. Doesn't need a moss pole. So for the root that's sticking out, I will put a moss nearby, like on the top here, so it keep it moist. And this is for the uh, philodendron micans. So I'm gonna just fill a little bit, like on the bottom, something like that. There we go, and then the last ones. So now I'm gonna do is, um, I will add some water. So this one, this is just a rain water. I don't have any nutrition in it. Water itself is already very helpful to grow more water roots. So I'm gonna add about um, one inch height. This one don't want to be too high because the root is more on the bottom than the other. For this one, I added to almost touching the lega because um, I have a pretty bad experience with um, any winding plants. It doesn't seem like my semi-hydro to me. So I'm just gonna do like slightly touching the lega. Something like that. The string itself will help um, soak the water up. So here we go. We have all the philodendrons updates on the week two. We're gonna keep showing you on the week three next week. See how everything doing. Even after one month in transition in semi hydroponic, you still need to keep monitoring it. Just um, keep an eyes on them and then I will put them on top of the heat mat so help to promote the root grow as well. If you like the video remember to click like and subscribe. Um, let me know what you think. Um, put a comments below. Um, see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.